and gentlemen, if you're listening and watching this, this is uh, Gar from the White Star Dragon Fleet, and this is us getting ready for a dragon flight. I shall let you know in a moment which one we pick, so I'll pause it now. When I start it again, we'll be ready to fight. And here we have Nazarus, one of my guildy members, looking all posh in his orange and red getup. Keep an eye out for him in the video, because he'll spend half his time dead. His words, not mine. Okay, it seems that we are going to be going for the green and red dragon. I've been assigned to, to the red dragon with a few other people, as you can see in the in the window. Let's have a look. We've got a good pew. There's Nazareth there, standing beside me. Like I can see he's one of my guild mates. Let's have a look. We'll We'll have a quick look at one Naz. There you go. There you go. Nazareth, nice high level, and oh, look at all those pretty numbers. Right. All we can do is wait for the dragon to show. As you can see, the countdown for them turning up is right there. Uh, don't mind me. I need to go and find a potion. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, did it? Did Ah, there he is. So all we can do now is basically wait for Mr. Ugly to show, Cathro the Proud, and do a bit of boop boop. Party leaders, if you can, because you never know when it might be you next. As you can see, we've got Oxio is health down to 78, Cathius is down to 80, so we're not doing too bad. There's me getting knocked over because my stamina ran out again as usual. Really hate when it does that. As you can see, I've now dittering around him. Trying to avoid the red zones of death. It's always important to kill the uh, empowerers because they just make them stronger. Somebody will notice and come and revive me for a change. The problem with these dragons, they are rather strong at times. And the graphics don't always uh, keep up. I didn't spot the empowerers there. Really annoying when that happens, when you get a red zone of death on top of an empowerer. Really nasty. Let's have a look, we've got... Katino's health down to 52. Ozio's health down to 51, so we're not doing too bad. We're keeping aligned. If you 
kill a dragon before the other people do, what happens is you've only got one minute before the whole lot of them run away. Not very good if you're trying to kill one. Nearly kept in a red zone of death there. Always got to keep an eye out for them, but it's not always easy. Especially with all the abilities on the floor. Silver Flash is dead, that's one of my guys over there. So is a uh, Rosary here, I'll just res him whilst I'm on. Oh, you see, that was a lucky, the red spawn just in the road of his there. Yeah, I know, I sound daft when I'm talking, there's no need to remind me. We're keeping it up scale at the moment, so that's good. Why can't I res him? Now we'll, we'll try that again. Let's get up to the end power to get this guy down as quick as possible. Watch out for that red zone behind me. Say that one. Oh, I'm gonna have to res back. At least this one is relatively close if I remember where to go. <laughs> Don't always remember which direction to go back in. Twenty six and thirty at the moment for the guy's health. Us. There's a dangerous spawn. As I was coming, it's relatively handy for me. Hopefully, no more red zones of death will appear on us. Oh, we've got two people down at the moment. Osman's got 14, we're at 20. The Empowers have just spawned. I'll have to do long distance at him. I can't get to the other ones, the too many red zones of death. Yep, yeah, just say so caught the flicker of that there. I'm stuck between two, I knew it. Nothing I could do there, and I was even phased as well, and when I'm phased I'm not supposed to take damage. But that's the way the game rolls, you can't always avoid the... that's AOEs for you. AOE that didn't turn up until I was already dead. Lovely. <laughs> That's the problem with these dragons, they can one hit kill me. Four and five, we're on track up to now. What is an power? Looks as if we're going to down ours first, are we? Yes, we downed ours first. And let's have a look at, where did I place? I placed fifth. Cal Callista Pigano. That's a lot of damage for the number one guy, but placed 6 which isn't too bad for me. That's my setup if you're wondering. Well, I'm glad glad you watched it and hope you enjoyed it and had a good laugh at us.